everyone to Amateur Fishing Adventure. My name is Rafael. My name is Richard. My name is Joel. And today we're going to be talking about the Max uh, Casking Max Fin 8. We did the we did the no knot test, all the polymer test we did. If you have seen our previous videos, the same format, no knot test, polymer, uni uni knot on the leader, wet test, polymer and no knot. We had the abrasive test, the wet and dry. And we also did the casting. And the final thoughts. Okay, so right now let's go watch the the no knot. No knot test. Loop over here, loop over here, let's go start it. Turn it on pounds, let's get the go. Thirty-two, thirty-four, forty-four. Okay, good to go. First time we test is forty-four. Twenty-seven, thirty, forty. Eight sixty pound on pounds. Fifteen, twenty-six, twenty-nine, thirty-five, thirty-one, forty. Welcome back! Okay, let's see the results. Dry test for the, uh, no, not this. 44, 40, 40. It's very consistent. It, this is a 60 pound test line, so again, it drops one third just from the no, not. It's, it does even uphold the 60 pound test rating. Uh, okay. Let's go. Maybe it's going to be more interesting later, right, Rich? Yeah, let's check out the polymer knot. Let's go check out the polymer knot right now. The knot test, polymer knot on a hook, loop over there, we're good to go. Seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-seven. Sounds about right. Over here, let's get the go. Okay. Okay. Seven, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one. 22, 25, 26, 29, 35, 38, 38, 39, I think. For the polymer knot, uh, our results 31 pounds, 39 pounds, and 39 pounds again. So, if you're regarding the 31, yes, it does drop, but if you're... They only have If you're looking at the maximum, yes, if you're looking at the maximum 39, 39, it barely, barely drops. It actually, from the no not test. it actually mm -hmm. averaged 38, 39 on all the tests. Maybe one out of ten it did. Yeah, cause it, considering also it the off screen test. Yes. It, it barely drops. It, it has a 40 pound, pound test line. So. This is amazing. I think you, yeah, I think you tied that knot. That's why it went 31 pounds. <laughs> sure, yeah. sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's go watch the leader test and uh, we'll, we'll get our thoughts on it. Leader test. Is it too tight or? No, it's good. Leader test, uni uni knot on a 50 pound mono leader and a um, with a polymer knot on a hook, 60 pound with a loop over here. We're good to go. Max 10, 60 pound. Wait. Okay, pounds. Let's go.
So we just did so we just did the mono leader test for the max and eight. What were the results? Twenty three, twenty three, twenty seven. So again, it's pretty consistent as far as holding the knot. Uh, may not be great for nah. <laughs> the uni uni knot. It's not good for the uni uni knot. It's cutting the mono, bro. It's it's so thin the way it molds in the mono like it molds like this on the mono. This is the uh, the braided line. It clamps in there and it cuts the mono. That's how it, it breaks. It's it's different than the other brands that it will like like this is your braid and this and the mono wraps around it and your knot is right there where my finger is and it will break on that knot. It doesn't happen like that. It breaks because it claps where the mono is it it actually chokes it, chokes it. it. and it's it's so as far it. for yeah. mono leader it's it's not that good at all even if you're not hitting if you even if you're not catching a 20 pound fish you're still causing that friction and eventually it'll yeah. cut your mono at leader 23 pounds it's like oh my god it's, it's, it's really given out it's a downfall yeah. Yeah. what this is telling you is that um it holds a very strong knot like uh, when we did the no knot compared to the polymer, there's very little drop off because of that knot. And in this instance, uh, since it's tied to the it's a mono too leader, deadly. yeah, it's actually cutting the yeah. mono leader. It's a good point. It's it's one to two pounds away on the average between the no knot and the, uh, and the polymer, the polymer yeah. knot. That's a good point. It's a really strong knot. Okay, let's go watch the um, the what this. Let's see if it's gonna change. Okay, this is the wet test for the Max Thin 8. No knot test. Loop over here, loop over here. It's on pounds. Good to go. Okay, 52. This is the wet test for the Max Thin 8. Loop over here. Polymer knot on a hook over here. It's on pounds. Good to go. So we just finished the wet test for the no knot. How'd it go? Uh, actually, it did. It got a lot better. Uh, this is the the uh, the uh, the only one that got better, right? It got better. Actually, some of them got better too, but um, it's 33 pounds on the polymer knot, which is on the average of it, mm -hmm. I believe, and. Like on the low average of the, um, the yeah, our thing. lowest one for the no knot test yeah. was um, thirty one oh, for, the, for the polymer. Yeah, for the thirty one. Yeah, yeah for the, the no knot test is fifty two. Explain why it got better on on a no knot test. It's supposed to get better now unless the line is really affected a little bit on it. Why did it get better on the on the no knot test? I mean, what, for the loops, there's less a lot less friction because it's wet it's not straining it yeah so yeah. when when we're tying the knot we're wetting it right mm -hmm. so that there's no so when you friction. tighten it yes there's yeah. no friction the same thing with the loop we, we're not like on the loop test we're not wetting it at all on the dry test so that's that's a take from you guys so because if you want it you're not really getting the true strength of it yeah. you know what i'm saying so let's go see the um the dry abrasive abrasive test for the dry max thin eight line We're gonna see how many times it takes to break one two three don't go after the nut four five six seven eight nine ten ten Max Thin 8, this is what it looked like after 10, ten passes. It broke at 10 fast right there. Dry abrasive test, abrasive resistant. Very disappointing. 
Max Thine came in with 10 passes. Yeah, for you, it's very disappointing. For me, it's not. I mean, it is a thin line. You also have to yes. take that into consideration. It's a very thin, it's probably the thinnest out of all the lines that we yeah, use. Yeah, it is the yeah. thinnest, <clears throat> yes. Um, why is it not disappointing to me? Because if you see the video, it's not like the the other the other brands. If you see like you one, can two, see the damage. You one, two, three passes. Visually see the damage. You can actually see the damage already. Yep. On this one, it still upholds. Yes, it's, very it nicely. seems like it seems like it's like a mono. It acts like a mono line, really. Like, but you know what though. No, it it really did some damage to it, of course, because it's a braided line. It's a uh, it's a fiber. So let's go watch the wet the wet abrasive uh, resistant test. This is the wet abrasive test for the Max Thin Eight sixty pound test line. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14. Max T8, wet abrasion resistant test. This is what it looked like after 14 passes. So Rich, what do you think about it? Uh, the Max T8 for the wet test went up to 14 passes. I actually you know, better. So yeah. again, it improved. This, this shows you that this one actually is so round when it's wet it actually holds more abrasive resistance it it slides yeah. it glides so it's so round it's so smooth that it glides on the thing it's the it only on the line that we tested the braided line so far that really got better on the wet test mm -hmm. So uh, that for me is a plus. Uh, it's definitely it's got to take that into consideration. Yes. yes. So let's go watch the uh, casting, guys. Casting Max Thin 8 with a 1 ounce weight. Let's do it. One sixty five Max T eight on a spinning reel and a one uh, a one ounce uh, weight. Max Team 8 casting. Oh, 165 on the um, casting. And the spinning is 173. This is actually weird because it actually did better on the spinning reel than the uh, casting reel. That is pretty shocking. Because it's a lot smoother. Like, you know, it's light, it's smooth, it's just, just like I say, it acts like a braid, but it got the smoothness of the mono. And it's just once it glides through that line, it just flies, so... Yeah, how much can fit on the spool? It's 341. That's the thinnest. Yeah. I think it's it's almost the ranking of, I would say, 30 to 45. I might be wrong. That's just my estimation. But, you know, it's it's really, really quiet casting it, retrieving it. It's... It's uh, one of the top performing lines uh, when it's, casting. It's oh, casting, my yeah. God. I'm telling you. I never say quiet until 
I felt how quiet this thing is. How it's turning into one of your favorites. Is. Yes, it grew on me. It grew on me. So I mean, I myself am also considering this line. It it definitely performs well. Yeah, let's overall. go. Let's go to our final thoughts. It's ranked number two on our test, um, tied with the um, other brand. But um, let's go do our final thoughts about it. What do you think about it, Rich? Um, Max Thin Eight was the only sixty pound test line we um, evaluated and. Overall, I mean, it, it stood up to the 65-pound lines. Um, casting was smooth. Um, and it's the only 60-pound line yeah. in the group. Too. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Um, casting was smooth. Casting, it, it was, you know, one of the better casting lines. And overall, um, definitely would consider Max than 8. Strong contender. Strong contender. That's the right word. That's the right word. It's thin. It's thin. It's thin. It's smooth. It's, so it's quiet. It's so thin that it's not even qualified to be a 65 pound <laughs> thickness. Like, you know, it's almost half the size of the other line here. Right? So it's like, you know. It's smooth, but it definitely does a job. Yes, yes. And <clears throat> I'll consider it any time. Yep. I'll consider it any time. So uh, for me, it's, uh, it's an A. It's an A for me. So yeah, definitely did well. Yeah. So guys, if you like this video, please check out some of the other ones. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Give us a comment and tell us what you want to see. We'll catch you on a later video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.